It's week four of the National Football League. And coming up, we'll see Justin Jefferson. Always staying busy. He's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Vikings and the Giants. And it comes your way next. It can hold over 82,000 fans. And every one of those seats is filled for this one. As our coverage of the NFL brings us to MetLife Stadium. Hi there, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer, but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Set Bruin in week four. And he elects not to bring this one out, so no run back, and we'll pick things up from the 30 yard line. So out count the Giants, their first shot of the game coming up. And they're brought up by the sixth overall pick in 2019, one of the highest drafted Blue Devils ever, Daniel Jones. That's a loss last week, Kate, that he wears. He's worn it all week long, and I know he isn't the only guy out there. There's 11 on the side on every play, a couple of interceptions. He's going to hold himself accountable. A lot of work's gone into making sure this week's game is an improvement on that. Fence out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. Yeah. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And finally, they bring him down. He shook off a couple of defenders there on a nice pickup. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. To throw, here's Jones. Gets this to Slayton. And he pushes it up across the 30 before going out. It's a gain of four. And the Giants will have a first down. Jones now to throw. Fires over the middle. Caught. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. Third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. And he's got cold at the spot. Ooh, he paid for that one, but hey, still enough for that first down. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Short pass. 
is caught by his tight end. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. They gave up the... Oh, the football's loose! And no turnover. It's going to stay with the offense. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Out of the shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to leave him with third and three. Well, as we get a look at their key inactives this week, we can tell they've dealt with their fair share of injuries, but Brock still playing a lot of winning football. They've just been able to feed. I can't let you go and do that. necessito, who's that key? I'm me a lot of. I'm too selfish, baby. Here's McCarthy to throw. And his game will begin with an incomplete pass. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing now from the gun. Got his target. It's Hill. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Third and just two to go. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. New set of downs for him from the 46. McCarthy throwing here. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Had that one, but just couldn't see it through. So that brings up second down. Now McCarthy. Open receiver caught. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. They'll get 18 yards there. And that's going to give the Vikings the first down. Plowing up the middle. And he sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. They strike for 23 yards. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. Offense set for a first and 10. From the red zone now. resilience and the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. And instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. Second and three now. Now an inside give to Singletary. Was brought to a halt at about the 36 yard line. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. They're going play action. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And the fumble recovery is made. We all saw the brief moment of full on pimp between the ball coming out and him getting back on it. The impressive part is he kept his composure while it was still loose. One mistake didn't become two, and he cleaned it up before any defenders could. And he found some running room for a nice game. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Throwing from the gun. Pass complete to Hubbard. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. Translatable skills. That's what you call it. So They'll run here on 
first down. And they're going to stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Throwing from near his own goal line. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Back to throw. Here's McCarthy. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And he'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. They have themselves another first and ten. Give now to the running back. And he works his way for a gain of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six now. Looking slant route complete. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. Now head up, first and 10 from the 42. McCarthy to throw it. Completes this one to Hill. And this is through the midfield strike and onto the Giants' side of the field. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here's a give up the middle. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. New set of downs for him from the 46. McCarthy looking to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that's going to get the Vikings the first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. First down, they'll run. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 21. This one's taken in by Hill. And he's able to get this down to the 13. Only a solitary field goal so far. Vikings ball as we return for the seconds. And they've got to be thinking points here. Working inside the red zone. Couldn't connect there. Incomplete. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Looking to throw, McCarthy. And it's caught. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards them with a first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. To the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings take a second quarter lead. them backwards second down coming up another 
another try following the sack. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. The handoff on third and short. And he's tackled for no gain. They stop him just short and force a fourth and one. When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. good run right there to keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. Now it's McCarthy. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. It's a gain of 22. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. And off to the back. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Up to the line, and they're set. First and 10. And he's got a free play here. Gets everything he has under this throw. It's incomplete, but good awareness to see him jump and shoot it deep on the free play. Now we'll get the call. Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. They'll run here, following the penalty. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 47. He's going to get this complete to his running back. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Battle coming up on third and inches. Here's the handoff. And he's able to get this down to the 36. They get six and a first down as well. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead. Get what you need. Back to the well again. And he'll come up with a gain of three on the run up the middle. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. From the 33 on second down. An all around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Here's McCarthy to throw. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. McCarthy throwing here. Real in at the seven. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. And his tour and pace has not stopped so far in the opening half of this season. He's already up to 50 catches on the year. And I think we can say the triple digits on the season becoming less of a dream and much more of an expectation with the way that he... And he gets in. Touchdown! The Vikings now lead by 10. He would not be denied that close to the end zone, Brock. I think it might have taken five or six guys tackling him to keep him from diving across the line for six. Certainly a second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that stop. It will not be a denied of a touchdown. my word. 
With a new set of downs. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost as he busts those tackles. And he'll get this through the midfield stripe and starts pushing into Vikings territory. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Half tumble, half tumble. They go play action here. Pressure coming, and they take him down. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. Bobo, Bobo, Bobo. To throw, here's Jones. Oh, no, he lost control of another one. And the fumble recovery is made. You know, Kate, we talk about these wide receivers all the time and their incredible body control, but I'll say this, these pass rushers in this day and age, the body control they have to get home on these sacks, but more importantly, to create these strip sacks, is so hard to do, and that is a master's class in how to take the ball away. Well done. The Vikings and this running back headed back out for a new series. They're on a three-game winning streak, Brock, and working to stretch that out to four. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They hand this one off. Jukes one defender. And he carries it for a big gain that gets him down into the red zone. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. From the 19. And this is incomplete. Could have been a touchdown, but all it is now is a third down. Going ground here. And he'll go down here at the 16. Three yards there and enough to move the chains. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Now McCarthy. And he's gonna score, touchdown Minnesota. The Vikings capitalize on the turnover and add to their lead. It's a Justin Jefferson touchdown. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. Jones looking to throw. He finds Slayton. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 39. That's into the hands of Singletary. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're gonna mark him at the 48. All set up now for first and ten. Handoff running left. Here's Singletary. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Half jumbo, half. Throwing here, Jones. Got a man, Robinson has it. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And the Giants will have a first down. Now it's Singletary. And he's brought down for a loss. All right, here we go. Second down. Now Jones. He finds the open man there. Complete. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and 10. Throwing off the play fake here. Bails out of the pocket quick. 
He can run it. It's a gain of 12 there. And it's good enough for a New York first down. So it's the two minute warning here for MetLife. It's the Giants okay, here we go. with first and 10. He's got it room to run. He almost gets to the five. He goes out at the six. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Jones now to throw. Escapes the pocket. And he will score. Touchdown, New York. When the Grinch stole Christmas, I felt that. some running room for a nice game. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. From the 37, completes this one to Hill. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Well, he sure has come out throwing a good ball today, and the passing game has really been clicking early on thanks to his efforts. Yeah, his play's really elevated the start his pass catchers have been able to have as a result. And you know what they're all thinking right now? This could be a game where we all get to put up some serious numbers, especially if he keeps throwing it like this. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and 10. Sends this one to the end zone. And it falls incomplete. Went for the deep ball there, but just couldn't connect. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. The give here on second. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. Throwing now from the gun. For the first. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Plowing up the middle. And he made a bid for it. It's a good gain that's stopped down at the 3. The Vikings call a timeout. It'll be their first. Second chance at 6 here. It's second and goal. Running for it again. And he will get into the end zone for a Minnesota touchdown. The Vikings get more points to end a lopsided first half. He's into the end zone and already at three rushing scores before halftime drops. So they either got to find a way to keep him out or he's going to run his way into the record books if they're not careful. For a nice game. Offense at the line, but they won't snap it. We've got a timeout. Here we go, hey. Looking to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he goes out close to that 45 yard line. From the 44 yard line now, first and 10. Back to throw it. He puts some air under this one deep right. He's got it inside the 10. So at the end of two, the Vikings play Road Warriors here. They've got the lead. Now down the coast we go to Orlando, Florida in our studio there. Jonathan Coachman waiting by with the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll begin up at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. And it's the Browns who are out on top. Nick Chubb, the lone touchdown there as he's cashed one in on the ground. From there, we head down to sunny Miami to check on the Dolphins at home at Hard Rock Stadium. And at the half, they trail the visiting Jets in that ball game. Garrett Wilson, a touchdown catch in that first half. 
Lastly, let's head to Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati to see what's happening with the Bengals. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Lions. Joe Burrow with three touchdown passes. one-sided first half one team showed up ready to go the other's been in a daze thus far but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly Thanks so much for the look around. My heart's on the floor. Every time I see you leave, my heart breaks a little more. You know what to do. They'll run here on first down. Across the 45 and still going. And they'll finally get him down at the 37-yard line. A pick up there of 33 yards. And that's going to give the Vikings the first down. Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, Kate. They don't always get the attention they deserve on broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Well, this certainly has been a memorable contest for him. His coaches, man, they're going to take this kind of output every single game. This goes a little beyond the expectations they have for him, maybe even for himself. What impresses me so much, Kate, the guy just doesn't tire getting stronger, literally, as this game's going on. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. Another carry for him. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. Here's a give on first and goal. And he's only going to get two or three yards on that one. And now we'll have to take a moment for an injured player, and it's a significant one. Tight end TJ Hawkinson in some pain after the play. They'll try and punch it in. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Well, you get a little bit closer, but you can feel the pressure starting to mount. Unless you're committed to playing four downs here, this week. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings grow the lead coming out of halftime. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. And how about the other side? Beating the defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand. Get all that motivation. will have a first down. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. On first down, they'll run. And that tackle stops him after a solid gain. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Now stick with Singletary. And he gets absolutely popped to end that one. That linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field. All I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp. Because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. Pass complete on the screen. And he's taken down at the 30. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it's good enough for a New York first down. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. 
He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. Escapes a defender. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. Second and six coming up here. Fakes the handoff, now to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. Kate, I can already read the headlines tomorrow. This offensive line can't protect. This offensive line, this offensive line. But it's more than that. When you give up five sacks in a game, it's a complete breakdown of everybody offensively. Play caller, quarterback, offensive line. Yeah, they're going to have to... O'Connell not happy with the officials at the moment. The challenge flag is out. Well, we're going to see how much of a sideline maven he is, Brock. This one very close, whether he got the feet down or not. And I'm so impressed by all these mavens because you've got to make... <laughs> Well, that didn't break out how they thought it would, and they're going to lose the first of their three timeouts for their trouble. Bobo, Bobo, Bobo. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get gains like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Here's a give up the middle. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No gain for them, and now it'll be second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goals. And he will take it in. Touchdown, New York. The Giants start the second half with some needed points. Devin Singletary with the touchdown. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a practice. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. And this run is stopped after getting up past the 35. Call it four yards, and they're set up with a manageable third and two. Back to back carries here. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. You know, I'm not sure what else could have been done there, Kate. Just the right call defensively to come up with a third and short stop. Trying to push this past the marker. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Here's Jones to throw. Here's pressure, and he's dropped by the Vikings. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Trying again, following the set. Fails out of the pocket. Oh, they're on him, and he's dropped again. And the back-to-back -back sacks. Nice work by the defense there. Sets him up with a third down. Here's Jones. Complete beyond the marker. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and 10. Working inside the red zone. From the pocket. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense. And they take him down. Back to the line they go. It's second down. A 
Another try following the sack. Pressure's there, and he goes down again. And back-to-back -back takedowns behind the line of scrimmage. Set him up now with third down. Half 18, half 18. Out of the gun, he'll look to throw. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. There he goes. Oh, no. Not just making the interception, but then seeing the return slowly come together in front of him as he took it all the way to the house. Yeah, I think even for us up here in the booth, it looked like a scene out of a movie, didn't okay. it? Starts running yep. it back, scans a field for a lane, then the blocks come just in the nick of time to wipe out the would-be tacklers, and he's got open space and nothing but the end zone in front of him. sliding down. Second down now, seven to go. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And this one doesn't go far. He musters up three yards on the run. That sets up third and four. Jones looking to throw. He has the first over the middle. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And the Giants will have a first down. Receiver in motion going left. They give up the gut to Singletary. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Here's Singletary again. And his short gain gets them a new set of downs. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Back to the well again. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. From the 38. This finds Bellinger. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. The Giants have it. They'll come up first and ten. Baby girl, I'm sorry that I hit then I dance. I swear it was an accident. Throwing here, Joe. <laughs> Real in at the seven. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Now an inside game to Singletary. In the middle holes. They don't get anything on the run. It's second and goal. They're running again. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. Now Jones. And he will score. It's a New York touchdown. Way through for a pick of a four. 
They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five. Now McCarthy. He's got him. That's Addison. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Give now to the running back. And he's going to have this one down at the 43 on a good run. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. a small loss. All plays on the table here for third and three. Here we go, here we go. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. They'll run for this. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. A split second, all to get the defense from making a stand right there. It's amazing, man. This game of inches and split second reactions. A nice bit of burst, search forward for enough to go get that first by a couple before they could finally drag him down. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's McCarthy to throw. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Plowing up the middle. And they take him down right along the 30. Pick up of two here. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. McCarthy throwing here. Completes this one to Hill. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here's the handoff. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. All plays on the table here for third and three. Another carry for him. He's tackled with the first down yardage. And he's just earned something most running backs are never lucky enough to even approach. This is now a 200-yard showing for him on the ground. To the line we go. They're set, first and 10. He hands it off. He's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the 10-yard line. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. They hand this one off. And he drives forward for a little, maybe to the seven. It's a three-yard gain, only a yard shy of the marker on third down. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps it deep. There's no apology. Still think we're meant to be Trips in the past, got no memories jaded Missing all the times that I had when we made it I... Up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game They hit him off on third and short And this one stopped at the three-yard line A gain of three and now they're going to be able to plan for first and goal They'll try and punch it in. And he will get into the end zone for a Minnesota touchdown. The Vikings can make it a four-score game as they lead by 24. And he's done it so many times before in just this game, Brock. There he is again in the end zone leading that celebration. Scrolling through my contacts, thinking.
thinking of you not really sure if i should hit up you won't know how you feeling till i feel hopefully you see it and reply to palm sweating from anxiety can't hear send it's hurting me butterflies thinking of you can't breathe send the text message on my knees to throw here's joe finds his target robinson and he's going to be brought down at the 42. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Throwing from the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's able to cross midfield before going out. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm. But these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. He finds Slayton, and they make the tackle at the 38. They are now set for a first and 10. Throwing it again here. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's out of bounds, just short of the 30. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, just find a way to get him the ball. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. They get 13 on the pickup. And the Giants will have a first down. From the red zone now. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Ivan Pace has got it. And the Vikings will take over as he records his first interception of our season. Oh, man, Brock. They decided to air it out in pursuit of a touchdown that time. But it's intercepted. And the visit to the red zone comes up empty. And that one stings, Kate. It really does. You have a limited opportunity of looks in that close, particularly as we get through the second half. But once you get, you have to. You have to finish with points. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. First throw for the backup now. Got a man, coverage lost him, complete. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. He'll throw it. Conch into the hands of the rookie from Florida. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. New set of downs for him at the 38. Wow, they're going to pass it here. He's got it complete. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. Oh, look at this. He's setting up the throw. That one's incomplete in the end zone. And that is teaching tape right there, Kate, for why you never, ever give up on a play. Looked like a certain touchdown grab until he comes in and knocks the ball free right at the last moment. And we shouldn't be surprised as they connect in the end zone for yet another touchdown. Yeah, she know I am her medicine. I don't care the problem, treat it like a sedative. She feel better, but she put me on a regular. I am taking old vaginal and that is all. Side effects of bad corrupts in my orgasms. Don't know D, you'll be feeling for a lot more. Disclaimer, this can cause a pregnancy. If the child is born, treat me. I don't know. 
Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Jones. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Jones now to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Way too much ice up on me. So icy, I make it hard to breathe. She addicted to the back with nicotine. Trippy 19, might catch it if I sneeze. It's cause I got way too much ice up on me. So icy, I make it hard to breathe. She addicted to the back with nicotine. Trippy 19, might catch it if I First and ten, looking to throw. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Giants will take over as he reports his first interception of our season. You know, I know it doesn't show up as a whole lot of return yards on the stat sheet. That's big time. Every single yard is a bonus, setting your offense up for success, and most importantly, taking the ball away and getting off the field defensively. Here's pressure, and he's dropped by the Vikings. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Trying again, following the set. This one's caught. Chance to have the chains here on third and four. Jones looking to throw. Here's pressure, and he's dropped by the Vikings. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Here's Jones. And there's our last in image of this game. It's intercepted. Byron Murphy picks it. Has room down. But well, we all know getting the interception is the important thing, Bronx. But how about this guy having the wherewithal to transition into a really nice return to then get the touchdown out of it, too? Yeah, that's a great point. We talked about it with receivers, right? Getting vertical right away after making uh -huh. a catch. Uh -huh. Same thing for these defenders when they make a pick. They secure the football shirt, but instantly they go back to their offensive days. They want that touchdown, and they want a moment they won't forget. So the Vikings pick up the win on the road. And they're continuing to survive among the final remaining unbeaten teams across the NFL as they're now up to a 3-0 start. So that's it for us here. Brock Heward, our crew, I'm Kate Scott. This has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Vikings emerge as winners as we say so long from New York.